The man accused of attacking women at IUPUI now knows just how much trouble he's facing. Prosecutors in the case charged the 19-year-old with eight different sex crime charges, and a judge then ordered him to stay away from the IUPUI campus. Our crime bill reporter Steve Jefferson was the only reporter in the courtroom during the hearing, and he's downtown now with what he learned. Steve? 19-year-old Brandon Chiado came here to the city county building to learn he's facing three felonies and five misdemeanors in those alleged attacks at IUPUI. Brandon, do you have anything to say? 19-year-old Brendan Chiado shook his head no to commenting about the charges he faces for allegedly attacking women at IUPUI. His family surrounded him on his way to court. Campus police tracked down the teenager after the victims and people on campus identified him from a suspect description. Three women told police he befriended them with small talk before sexually assaulting them. Keato reportedly approached one of the women sitting in the grass here outside the social work building on campus. In court documents, the 19-year-old told one of his victims that he was a business student and moved to the United States at the age of 13 from Guatemala. The victim told police during their friendly conversation, out of nowhere, Brandon touched her. She says he also exposed himself. Another woman told officers he introduced himself as she sat here on the grass outside Taylor Hall. Eventually, they walked to Carroll Stadium where he shared lots of personal information. She told officers Brandon revealed that he lived with his parents and two younger sisters in Fishers. She says suddenly he grabbed her and started kissing her and then reached under her skirt. While blocking an exit at the stadium, she told officers she agreed to meet with him on Friday just so she could leave. Keato, who is not even an IUPUI student, reportedly admitted to some of the sexual behavior. After court, the judge ordered the 19-year-old directly to community corrections to get fitted for a GPS bracelet. He is due back here in court in July. On the Crime Beat, I'm Steve Jefferson.